I'm Jim Unsworth, uh, one of the assessors. I'd just like to talk to you about a range of paintings that came in for assessment by a Level 3 student, uh, Tracy, which maybe for some of you it's, it's a quite a different approach. And I'm talking about some sort of anti-aestheticism in the way that you approach painting. You're not looking for necessarily subtle relationships or even composition. Which is fine, and, and I think that works as a, an abstraction. Now, what I want to move on to reasonably quickly is that it, it's quite a different approach to painting, and it's actually quite a, a physical way of approaching both uh, how you apply paint and then the sort of resulting composition, if you like. Because if we look at this large painting, which is about four and a half feet by about three and a half, but it's actually built up almost like it's been made with some sort of mechanical system. You, you can still tell just that it's, it's brushwork, but it's the build-up of a certain physical activity. In this case, large wrist movements and some arm movements, which is quite a different way of approaching painting to, uh, to some maybe others. And I think also which is a different way of approaching is the sort of colour choices. It's sort of the amount that is actually physically being applied to the to the surface which if you actually describe it in words could be quite a brazen and, and could be a, a crass way of applying paint but what the resultant effect is because it's so physical and the colors are so in some ways random but when they all come together they're actually very specific and they form a very coherent visual experience and i think it's just something to be aware of, what I would call uh, an anti-aesthetic approach. Well, you could almost, you know, paint with, uh, in this case, it's actually a, quite a big brush, but it could be, you know, a huge yard sweeping brush, for example. You know, you really took this to its limit. You know, the, the size could be any sort of size, but, the, the, you know, this idea can be taken further. And for some students, this way of working actually allows them to access things in a, in a different way. You can get physical, as it were with both your paint and how you paint. And, and because it's got such an intent, you either take it or leave it, and it, uh, that's where its success lies.